A hundred years ago, Einstein published his general theory of relativity. One of the basic predictions of general relativity is that mass bends light that is known as gravitational lensing. Imagine the sheet as empty space. This is a star emitting light in all directions. And this is me with my telescope. In empty space, light from a star travels in a straight line to the telescope. By knowing which direction the light came from, we can know the exact position of the star. Imagine this ball as sun. As you can see, sun is between star and telescope. According to general relativity, heavy masses like sun bend light like a le glass lens. Light rays from star come close to the sun's surface. They will bend inward, but from telescope, it seems like the star has shifted its position from here to there, and the light rays are coming in this direction. In 1919, Eddington observed the change of the star's position as predicted by Einstein. This observation made Einstein world famous. This is Hubble Space Telescope, this is foreground galaxy, and this is background star or background supernova. A galaxy is very massive, so it acts like a good gravitational lens. As you can see, galaxy is bending light rays from star, and we're going this way to Hubble Space Telescope. When telescope, gravitational lens, and background star are not in a straight line, you will see two images of the same star or in some cases, Einstein cross. When telescope, gravitational lens, and background galaxy are all aligned perfectly, the light rays from far galaxy will bend and reach space telescope at the same time and you will see Einstein ring of the far galaxy. When galaxy cluster is between telescope and far galaxy, the light from far galaxy is lent by gravity of the cluster and you will see many arcs of this galaxy. Calculate mass of galaxy cluster by knowing how much distortion we can see of background galaxy. Scientists figured out that the distortion of background galaxy is not only due to the galaxy cluster, but is also due to invisible matter that is known as dark matter that surrounds galaxy cluster. Using gravitational lensing, scientists can see effects of dark matter and can see very, very far away stars, galaxies, and exoplanets. We can simulate gravitational lensing at home using vine glass base. Vine glass base has almost the same optical properties as galaxies. As you can see, this glass is distorting lines, similar to gravitational lens that distorts space-time and light. First, I'll draw a little dot that acts as background source. Next, I'll move the glass across the dot and we will see gravitational lensing effects. When the glass and dot are not lined up, we will see many images or arcs.
When glass and dot are perfectly lined up, we, they will make Einstein ring. With candlelight, we can simulate a perfect Einstein ring. Happy Pi Day and happy birthday to Albert Einstein. Happy birthday to Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. for dark matter in three places. Deep underground, on the Earth's surface, and deep in space.